Hi guys, it's me, AZ Cabby Mama. If you like cabbies nearly half as much as I do, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for joining me here in my doll room and on my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to the doll room. I have a few new things to show you today. So I just wanted to take you around and show you some of my new items. So I'm really excited about a couple of things. Here's one little thing that came in which is a school cabbie puzzle. And I just put that together with my daughter today, which was really fun. And I got this little figurine set from Doreen from these cabbies, dolls and toys in an order. It was a bonus gift with another doll that I purchased, which you'll be seeing in just a moment. So that was a nice surprise. And I was so excited, guys, to get this baby in, this little girl right by Play Along. Her name is Kayla Tyler in the school set, and I've been looking for one of these for a while because this doll room, as you may know, if you've watched my videos, is also my online teaching classroom where I work to teach kids. So... You can see that's where I sit and teach them. So it's great to have some things to tie in the cabbies with the school theme as well. And this is one of them. So I'm thrilled with her. And also with the puzzle, which we put it together. We still have it together. So I kind of want to frame it or figure out a way to keep it together and maybe hang it up. So excited about that. I did the video on Emily Rose, my new U edition baby. So thrilled with her sitting here with my 2021 LPK kiddos. And then over here, here's my other baby. And there was kind of an interesting story with him. This is little Isaac, my AA19 head mold boy <laughs> designer line. I got him from Doreen from D's Cabbies, Dolls and Toys. I was so excited to be able to add him to my collection, just thrilled. And then all of a sudden I went to check for him at the mailbox Saturday and my mailbox was wide open and there was no key in there, even though tracking said he was delivered and he was in the mailbox. So I was freaking out all weekend, waiting to find out what happened on Monday. And then I found out from my mail carrier that just because the mailbox was open, they didn't put the key in, but he was safe and sound inside the parcel locker all weekend. And I was able to get him and he's just a little cutie. I apologize, my birds never take a break with the singing. <laughs> you might you might hear them in the next room whistling and chirping away. So I'm gonna just kind of pan back around the room for you guys, and then I'm going to be opening that box next. Yes, I have a package from Babyland. So let's take a look and see my newest baby. I'm so excited to open it. I've been waiting to open it with you guys, so let's take a look. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my doll room. I'm so excited to be able to open another package from Babyland with you today. I've been waiting for this for about a week and I knew it should be arriving today. So I waited until I was ready to open this with you guys on camera. I just sliced open the tape and I'm ready to take a look and see this baby. So I'm so excited to have the reveal for the first time with you guys here on my channel, right here in the doll room. So let's take a look at this little girl. Okay, I can get all of the tape apparently. This is thrilling, right guys? If you've ever had a package from Baby Man, I mean, any cabbie mail is thrilling for something you've really been trying to acquire in your patch. <laughs> but when it comes from Baby Land, ah, it's just so exciting. Ah. Oh my goodness. I'm like so excited to look at her. Oh, she's a cutie. All right, so let's see. Take a 
this plastic off of her. Here she comes. Like I always say, like being born out of mother cabbage all over again. And there she is, guys. Let's take a look at that cute little face. If you watch the babies on the dot com, you might have seen she sat up there for a while. And I really liked her. She reminded me of how I looked as a little girl. I had long brown hair, often in pigtails, big brown eyes, no freckles, but I, I just had to add the freckles. And so I named her after myself, Desi Lou. My, my middle name is Lee, but when I worked at a position, my first teaching position, I taught in the Orange County Jail teaching inmates. And I was the youngest one on the staff. Sometimes I was the same age as my students or <laughs> barely older than them. And I was the baby of the education department staff. It was my first teaching job, believe it or not. And that's not what I trained for. I was going to be an elementary teacher, which I did that later, but I just had this opportunity and I ended up teaching in a jail, GED instruction to help people get their high school equivalency diploma. So anyway, they always called me Desi Lu, my my fellow staff members because they said you remind me with your little ponytail I would wear with my little bun on the top of my head of Desi Lou Who from The Grinch not Desi Lou Who um what was her name Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch so we're gonna call you Desi Lou Who which at the time when you're young and you want to be taken seriously I didn't always love it but I really look back on it fondly now because there were some great people that I worked with so anyway, naming this girl after myself, <laughs> Desi Lou. Desi Lou is her name that I changed it to. And you can see that it's right there on her little name tag. And so I am just so excited. They gave her little pearl earrings. She's just adorable. And I got um, a couple of things lined up I want to do to change her look a little bit. So I'm going to just do a couple of little things to modify her look um, and see if I like it and, and see because I, I just had a couple of things in mind that I thought would be cute. So I am so excited to unbox her for you guys. She's awesome. Look at this girl. I'll show you her dress. Her little cute little shoes with the hearts on the bottom. So cute. I loved her perfectly round face. Her face just looks like, it looks perfect, right? It's awesome. So, ah, I'm bending her papers here. I get so excited. I don't notice what I'm doing sometimes, but here are her papers. So let's take a look at these as well. So here it is. I gave her my birthday too. So I think I have one other one. One of my Babyland exclusives I might have given my birthday to, but of course if she named after me, I had to give her my birthday. So it says <laughs> she was um, hand-stitched in, in Cleveland, Georgia at 9 a.m. on November 10th, 2021, which is kind of crazy because that's the future if you think about it, but that's kind of cool that they'll give you um, the birthday that you're looking for. So she's got my birthday. So you can check that out, it's pretty cool. You can see on the back, got the footprints and I can probably kind of see through the paper, but I just absolutely think it's so cool. And then this one, you know, is the adoption papers. So I'm gonna cover it up a little cause it has my address right out there, but <laughs> you can see that they give you also the adoption papers. So you have the birth certificate and the adoption papers. And then on the bottom, it's signed by an authorized representative and it has the Xavier Roberts signature as the artist and a registration number down there for you. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, I will probably revamp the look and then pop back on to show you guys right at the end of this video to see <laughs> just a couple of changes that I, I plan to make with her. So she's a cutie. Love to welcome her to the patch. I've got to find a, a spot for her. So thank you for joining me. We'll see you in a bit.
Okay, guys. Well, here's little Miss Desi Lou after Mama's makeover. I'm not personally a huge fan of hot pink. I'm more of a baby pink fan, and purple's my ultimate favorite color. But I love the baby pink and gray combos, and so I knew I could revamp this outfit a little bit to reflect that with white. So I got her this pretty little bolero baby pink sweater, which is just like the one I put on my U Edition baby. I also got it in white, but I haven't found a baby for that one yet. But I also just changed out the ribbon on the dress from hot pink to the gray silver. I tied the other one in the back. I didn't want to cut it off. <laughs> and then I added the gray silver ribbons in her hair. And then now she's got the baby pink gray combo instead of that hot pink, which just wasn't my cup of tea personally. Although, I mean, she looked beautiful with it enough for me to adopt her, and I'm sure many people would love that. Just personally, this is more my taste, so I'm really happy with how she looks post-makeover. I think she's absolutely adorable. So thank you for joining me once again in the doll room for this Babyland unboxing, and to see my other new kids that came in this week once again. Thank you so much to Doreen for these cabbies, dolls, and toys for letting me adopt this amazing little guy. He is just incredible. This little AA number 19 head mold designer boy. Look at him. Ah, after a bit of a delay in the mailbox over the weekend and I didn't know if I was ever going to see his little face. I am just so happy to have him here in the collection. So he's just awesome. And then I'll pan back over here because, again, I got this amazing school set in cabbie mail this week as well that I've been really looking for for a while. Play along, school set, little Miss Kayla Tyler raising her hand right here in my online teaching classroom slash doll room. So it's a perfect fit. Love it. And the little adorable puzzle that I put together with my daughter earlier today. Hopefully I can find a way to frame that and hang it up here in the doll room. It was a lot of fun to put the, the puzzle together with her. I haven't done a puzzle in a long time. And it has 108 pieces actually because we, we counted before we started because we didn't want to be disappointed missing pieces at the end. And we were like 108. We counted again. It was 108. So it was the perfect amount of pieces. They were all exactly there, but it was not 100 as it says on the box. It was 108. So anyway, a little side story there. That was the adorable puzzle. And thank you once again for joining me here in my doll room as always, guys. Thank you once again. I love doing these videos because I just love collecting cabbies. So thank you so much for checking it out with me and watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching guys and for more great cabbie videos please like subscribe and share